Bear with me here. The electricity's went out on us uh, several times. We're actually in the middle of a ice storm, the worst ice storm in Dallas, Texas. So, and my hands are freezing fucking cold because there's nothing else to do. Because electricity will probably go off again, see? And uh, I can't go out in my shop and work. I actually own a paint and body shop. But, uh, I, see, I guess I should be at home sitting on my lazy fucking ass watching TV, twiddling my fucking thumbs, but I'm not going to do that. I'd rather be down here doing something, being productive. Okay, now, now that I picked up out of the way, I'm going to put this out of the way because I want to show you something here. Okay, and we'll get our guitar out of the way as well. If I'm clear with you now. PV guitars are very, very high quality. U.S. made PV guitars are high quality guitars, okay? Uh, I don't have to justify myself on this situation, okay? I don't have to fucking prove anything to you, okay? The main concern here is it really doesn't matter what kind of fucking guitar you got, all right? What matters is that you're happy with the guitar that you got. I just happen to like PV guitars. If I liked Fender guitars, a Fender guitar would be sitting here. I don't like Fender guitars, okay? I don't like what they stand for. I don't like the corporation, okay? So, I like PV guitars. I have reasons just like you have reasons. You wanna get on here and slander me? I don't give a fuck. Put your comment on there, we'll leave it on there so everybody can see how much of a dick face you really are. And I don't even know because my uh, multi tester sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. But I'm going to show you how to test your pickup to see what kind of output power we're getting. So you want to go ahead and take your uh, tester and to be honest with you, I don't even fucking remember because I don't do it that much. We're going to go ahead and set our tester. Let me just test it and see. I don't, I don't even fucking know to be t tell you the truth. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to even get a reading. Uh, making myself look like a dipshit here, but uh, at least I'm keeping it real, like some people would say. Okay, that's not the setting I want. To be honest with you, I don't even... Okay, there's our reading right there. I don't know if you can see the needle moving. This is reading out as a 10 ohm. Okay, the tester is not working. I'm looking like a dipshit here, not knowing what I'm doing because I haven't done this in a long time. Okay, but what you want to do to check your uh, output of your pickup to see how many fucking amps it's putting out, volts, ohms, whatever, okay? All right, you wanna get yourself a multi-tester, okay? And, and that will also tell you which is the middle pickup. And one more thing while we're on the pickup deal. I'll start that over, see. Okay, if you look right here, I explained to you that I put an ant on that pickup to make it a neck pickup. Now, to test the output of your pickup, uh, to see if it's a high output, low output, or standard output, what you want to do is you want to get yourself a multi-tester, okay? And a multi-tester, okay, will read the ohms that your pickup is putting out.
Okay, if you look right here, I've taken out one of the pickups, which is the neck pickup. I've already explained that to you. I've already marked it. Now, what you want to do, if you're really curious of what the uh, DC resistance is, okay, what you want to do in the, is get yourself a multi-tester. Now, that's going to read, that's going to give your ohm rating and your resistance of how, what the output is, okay, the pickup output. Okay, now, I'm just showing you this system here to let you know. Uh, basically, I'm making, my, I'm putting a foot in my mouth because my uh, tester does not work properly. And I would show you how that works, but it's not working. So I haven't really tested pickups in a long time, and I don't have the money to go purchase another one. But if you have a multi-tester such as this, okay, you want to go ahead and set that resistance to what you're seeing right here, okay? I'm sorry. To right there, all right? And then what you will do is you will take the red lead, Okay, if you notice, like I said, mine's a piece of shit. I don't even use it. Okay, you take the red lead and go ahead and put it on the red wire. Okay, and then take the uh, black lead, put it on the black wire. And then, once that happens, you will get a reading, okay? Cut, cut, cut. Okay, we just removed one of the pickups out of our pickup guard, which is the neck pickup. I showed you that. And what you want to do, if you're really curious, is you want to get yourself a multi-tester like this. Okay? Now, this is going to read your uh, DC resistance pickup output meter. Okay? That's what this is basically for. All right? Set it to the proper setting. Take your wires. Hook them up. And then you'll be able to read, okay, on your meter right here, uh, what the resistance is on your pickups to let you know if the pickup is a high output or a low output pickup. Uh, on these pickups we basically don't give one rat shit what they are because we're not going to use them and uh, to be honest with you my tester is broke. I just thought I'd throw that in there for you if you were curious and you just happen to have one of these laying around that actually works instead of like me okay that can't afford to buy a fucking new one. Alright? So there you go. Uh, multi-tester. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way now. We don't need it anymore. Because I just actually wanted to show you what the fuck it is. Okay? Not that I was actually going to use it. One of these days I'll uh, get me a new one and uh, well, great. Great little story there. Once you get your pickup out, go ahead and put your screws on it, blah, 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 mark your pickup, and proceed to the next pickup. So we'll go ahead and get that out. Now, the next pickup that we're going to remove is our middle pickup, see? And I want to show you something on the middle pickup that's a little bit different than the neck and the bridge. All right, let me show you something here, okay? If you look at these two pickups together, all right, what you're looking at here, you can see, all right, I don't even know if you can see that. You can see where the black and red wire are, where they're hooked up here, okay? A reverse polarity, which will be your middle pickup, will actually be wired black backwards. The red's over here, the black's over here. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you look at this one, okay, real close, you can see that the red is on this side and the black is on that side. Okay, so your standard wiring pickups, which will be your neck and your bridge, okay, will be wired the same, whereas the neck pickup, I mean the middle pickup, okay, will be wired backwards. So that's a good little uh, lesson always to remember if you were interested in that. I don't even know if you were. I don't really give a fuck. I'm just showing you this because... Uh, Thought maybe I'd show you, that's all. All right, so what we got here now is we got our pick guard and uh, the only thing we gotta remove is our uh, tone and volume knob. Now these are just hand tight, so we'll go ahead and take those out. Wow, ain't that cute. The guy put a 
star washer on it. Jeez. Above the nut, not below it. That'll fucking really get you far. Now this has got to be basically a simple wire job. Uh, if I have a fu uh, if I have a mega switch, I might put that in there, but I don't even know if I have one of those. And Omega Switch is actually made. It's actually made by uh, Stuart McDonald Electronics Guitar Electronics. And when I buy those, I buy three or four at a time. Now, what that does is when it's in the middle position instead of having uh, the middle pickup only working what it does it has the bridge okay I'm sorry when the switch is in the middle position it, it uh, turns the uh, neck and bridge on at the same time instead of having the uh, middle middle pickup working it turns that off and turns the bridge and the neck pickup on which gives it a totally different sound. So I like those Mega Switches. They actually, uh, they're pretty cool. I have them in several of my guitars. They're made by Stuart McDonald. And uh, very, very nice item. They're about, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. Okay, so there you go. Uh, we won't be keeping that. We'll be throwing that away. It's not good for shit for me. Okay. Most of the time, stock electronics that you buy are junk. They're pretty much basically junk.